In this video, you're gonna learn a simple way to add live percussion loops to your Ableton Live Worship Keys rig. If you're missing a drummer or you just want to enhance the sound of your live band without relying completely on tracks, learning how to add percussion loops to your Ableton Live Keys rig doesn't have to be complicated. Check out this video to learn how. Hey guys, David from Sunday Sounds here. Hey, I know that many of you in worship bands have often found yourself in the tough position of not having a drummer for a given live performance or maybe recently for something like a live stream. Whether it's because you just don't have enough drummers for your rotation or if you have a situation where maybe the drummer has to call in at the last second or isn't able to make it, it's really important to still be able to have a sense of rhythm and direction for your band. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the simplest way to add flexible percussion loops to your live worship keys rig in Ableton Live. I'm gonna be walking you through a resource that we've created here at Sunday Sounds called Worship Beats. This gives you easy to trigger drum loops that you can even tweak live during your performance. There's a number of different patterns and kits available so you can find something that sits just right for the song or set list that you need. So to start off with, let's talk about how this works. This is designed to be used in session view and we're gonna be working with MIDI clips that are gonna be triggering pre-programmed patterns that we've put together for you here at Sunday Sounds that have specific kits automatically assigned that will be pulled up in the moment. So it's as simple as just hitting play on a clip to get started. And you can switch to a new kit by just clicking the play button on that clip and it will automatically sync on the next downbeat. And you can use your master scene fires as well. Of course, you can use tap tempo because these patterns are being generated and triggered in real time. And because the patterns are being generated in real time as part of the loop, you have total control over the mix of the instruments. And Worship Beats also features some really helpful global controls to help you further sit this beat just where you need it in the mix. You can even change out the kit that's called up by any one of these loops to get an entirely different feel. And you can save all of these settings to an individual clip as well. And if you want to know how to do that, check out the installation video that comes with Worship Beats, where we'll walk you through that really simple process. So the important thing to know about how these work inside of Ableton Live is that they're going to be compatible with Ableton Live 9, Intro, Standard, and Suite, and any version of Ableton Live 10, Intro, Standard, and Suite as well. Worship Beats is not compatible with Ableton Live Lite. So the process once you've got this on your computer is as simple as just dragging this track into whatever Ableton Live set you've already prepared, whether that's our Sunday Keys template for Ableton Live, or if you've got your own session view based live keys or tracks set up. You're just gonna drag this whole track in and then you can rearrange or duplicate clips to fit into the spaces where you need these worship beats. So in just a few minutes, I'll give you a walkthrough of all of the 15 beats that are a part of Worship Beats Volume 1. But before we do that, let me open up Sunday Keys for Ableton and give you a few contextual demos for how you'd combine these live percussion loops with your existing layered keys patches. Okay, so now that we're talking about how you might use these beats in a live worship context, before we dive into the specific beats that are a part of this Worship Beats library, I wanted to show you some of that context because this is really where these types of percussion loops are designed to shine, to enhance the live keys parts that are already a part of your worship set. So I've taken the Worship Beats track, I've exported it from the set, and I've loaded it into Sunday Keys for Ableton. And now I have all of these drum loops that I can fire at any time just by playing the clip. And they're automatically going to sync to the next downbeat. And I can tap the tempo. And then I can do whatever else I want to do inside of Sunday Keys.
so I can copy and paste these clips wherever I want as I'm building my master scene list, which is how I would put together my patches inside of Sunday Keys for Ableton. And I can even make tweaks to copies of the clips. You can adjust the, the kit that's actually loaded in for any given beat. So you can actually get tons of different grooves by just changing the kit selector. So essentially you're loading a different kit into the same pattern. So while uh, Worship Beats includes 15 patterns, each with a pre-assigned kit, you can actually swap out the kits. And then if you'd like, you can just hit Shift Tab and save the new kit setting here. And we show you how to do that in the installation video that comes with Worship Beats. But the really great thing about this is just that if you're not running tracks but you want a rhythm source, it's as simple as just copying and pasting a clip where you want it to go. And then whenever you fire that scene, you're gonna be ready to play. And then all of these beats can be dialed in using the master level macros. So we could thin this out, cut the highs, get tons of different textures with this glitch delay. Add some bit crushing. Add some crunch. Or some reverb. And those settings will only be applicable to this clip and you can save all of those settings. On top of that, you can actually tweak the balance of the pieces within the kit. So for example here, you could swap out this main snare for this low snare. You could add in this little extra element, add a sense of subdivision, and each of these kits has all of these controls pre-programmed. So you can dial in exactly what you need. So if you want something really simple, or even if you just need kit and hi-hat. And you can even duplicate the, the clips here and have different settings for each clip. So as you step through your scene changes, the beat can change dynamically as well. Because you're in Ableton Live, there's not much that you can't do in terms of automation. If you double click on a clip, then you can add any automation that you'd like if you'd like it to open up over time. You can even change the patterns if you'd like. I just recommend copying the clip first so that you always have the original to go back to. So that's a little bit about how this works in a live context. You can drag and drop or copy and paste the clips wherever you'd like. You can combine them with the quick select section of Sunday Keys for Ableton or into any of your layered patches. It's super simple, really, really versatile and easy to use. And it's a great way to add some extra rhythm to your live keys playing.
So now that you've gotten a little bit of context for how you'd use these in a live performance, the last thing I want to do in this video is just give you an overview of the 15 basic patterns that are a part of Worship Beats Volume 1. Now, like I said, you have a lot of tone shaping and sound shaping control of all of these beats with the master effects that are specific to each clip and the ability to independently adjust the mix of the elements of each kit. And then lastly, you can of course change the actual kit that the pattern is going to trigger as well. So while you start with 15 basic presets, you can have a ton of variation when you swap out kits, change the effects, or even change the mix of the elements of a specific kit. So for this, I'm just gonna give you a taste of each of the 15 loops in their basic starting position. Just know that there's tons of flexibility outside of that to help you further dial in these loops to sit in your mix. All right, let's start right at the top. <laughs> 